So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to create a quick form for maybe if you're in a group or something like that and you want to gather information or if you were trying to get some information for clients or you want people to fill out a form and you want it to e email to you um, after the people uh, fill it out or your clients fill it out. So let's go ahead and get to that and we're going to create this form inside of Word. Right now I'm in Word 2016, but this will also work in Word um, 2013, I, and I also believe in 2010 it should also work. So let's create this um, submit form, and we're going to also add a button to it so people can submit it. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and activate a certain menu you may have or may not have. Right now it's, a, it's uh, mine has it up here. It's called a developer tab, and if you don't have it up here, the way you get it up there is you go to File, Options, and in the options you go to customize ribbon and then customize ribbon over here on the right hand side you'll see that there's something here called developers now yours will be unchecked if you didn't have it but if you have it it'll be checked and if, you, if yours is unchecked go ahead and check it then click OK and then you'll have this developers tab now all I need to do here is put some information up here that I'm going to need in order to be able to um, collect my form and I'm gonna make all the labels first so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to first type out um, certain certain information that I think I'm going to need. Go to the end of each one of these and just hit tab once. And that's going to help me make my table a lot easier. Now if I don't have anything selected and I go here to insert and I want to insert a table, you'll see basically I can make my table and insert it but it's not really affecting what I have here. In order for it to affect what I have here, I have to highlight all of this, including those tabs that I have. See those tabs that are there? I'm going to go now to tables, and now you can see it says here convert text to tables. And I'm going to go down here, make sure tab is selected. I'm going to hit OK. And now I have these two fields based off of the text here and the tab that I have there. I'm just going to move this over here like that. And now to make this look a little bit more presentable, I'm going to select my table. When I select my table, I'll get this menu up here called Design. And then I can choose any of these designs. And I can go ahead and click on this downward arrow and choose um, something that you might like. So I'll choose this one. Now I'm ready to go ahead and use my developer tab to be able to add the elements that I need in here. Now this one right here came up as um, almost like um, a header. Um, what I should have done in order for this not to be the case was to add another row above this. So if I were to hit right, uh, right click, insert, insert a row above. Now I have this row above here. Now when I create my table and it gives me that header, it won't be with the name there. The other thing I can do here is change my border styles to a little bit thicker and so now what I'm doing is I'm painting my borders so I can just drag a line and paint my borders There we go. All right, so when I'm done with my uh, form design, now I can go ahead and go to my developer tab and start adding some of these labels here. And right here, I have this plain text control. I can first I'm uh, I select it, and what you'll see is this this text box come up here, but it's not really how the text box will look in design. It only this is showing how it'll look after the the design is completed. If I want to see it in the design mode, I just click on in the controls group this design mode button. And now you can see these tabs here show up on either side and then the text that's in the in, in center. And this is how I can change this text inside of here. Instead of saying click here to enter text, I can put first name here, something like that. Um, and now what I want to be able to do is add tags here because these tags are really good if you want to use this for XML data or something like that. So I'm going to go to my properties 
and then I'm gonna name this first name and then I'm gonna give it a tag F name so I'm gonna do the same thing for the last name and um, so go select where I want it to be go here into the controls group go ahead and select this uh, text box here and because I'm in the design mode, I can go ahead and type what I want inside of here. And that's the only way to do that. All right, and then I'm going to add the tabs by going into the properties of that and then giving it a name. And clicking OK. There we go. And now this email email field here, I want this to kind of be, I don't want it to be too long. So I want to control how long this email is, the number of characters that I want inside of this email. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use some of the legacy form tools. So I'm going to click on this legacy form tool and then I'm going to go ahead and select the text form field. Um, and once I'm in that text form field, I have that text form field there. I can hit properties and you'll see I get a lot more options here. This could be regular text. I can make it as a date and I can also put the current date. I can make it a calculation, that sort of stuff. And my default text is going to be um, So I'll just put that example there. And the next thing I want to be able to do is go ahead and change this from unlimited to maybe um, something like uh, 50. Okay, so I have that set. Now I'm just going to hit OK there. And uh, for the name, the group name is just going to be another text field. For the project, it's going to be another text field. All of these, and these two are going to be dates. So um, since we already did those up there, I'll let you do those, and I'll go ahead and fill out the dates here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the date here, and then I'm going to go to my text box. Actually, I'm going to go to my legacy fields. I'll go here, and then in the properties, I can go, instead of adding a text field, I can add a date. I can put a default date here, but I don't think that would be necessary. What I do want to do is do this date format here. And then I can kind of put what I, the way I want them to enter the date. Date, month, year. Something like that. Or maybe this was fine. Hit OK. And then here is going to be the end date. So it's going to be the same thing as what I had before. All right, so we have our our, our um, form done. Now we have to do is make it to where people can send the form to us. So inside the developer tab, I'm going to go here to um, these tools, the legacy form tools, and I'm going to click on this button right here. This is a command button. But first, before I do that, I need to know where I'm going to put this command button. So I'm going to select below my form first and then go here and then click on that command button right there. Now, uh, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and uh, change this name of this command button. The way I do that is I go to the property right here, and you have this properties tab open up. And I'm going to change not this name here, because that's the name of the, the button for coding reasons, but I'm going to use this caption here and change that to um, or send is send, yeah, send email. So now all I need to do to send this form 
is to add code to this button and the way I'm gonna do that is double click on this button but before I do that I want to name this button a little bit something more you know something that I can that's more readable so um, instead of saying command button one I'm going to put uh, BTN submit and with that being called BTN submit I can go ahead and change the name to just submit instead of send mail submit the form all right so now that I have that to add code to this all I need to do is double click on this and what will happen is I'll get the code viewer which showed up in my other window this is what's going to pop up here and now all I need to do and now you see here here's my code this is called VBA and inside of here you see my name BTN submit that's why I wanted to go ahead and change that name in case I had other buttons or something like that so with BTN submit here I want to add some code here and whether you understand this code or not just understand what it's going to do is open up the current the user's current email um, client and uh, attach this document to it so I do that by typing option and capital actually the camel ca um, casing does matter so whether it is um, uppercase or lowercase you have to understand that it is case sensitive so instead of me typing option I have to type uppercase options uh, and then send mail attach and as I start typing you see that it understands what I want to what what it thinks that I want to to add to this and once I find what I want I can hit tab or I can just continue typing it out but I want this to equals true now I want to create um, uh, the active document I want that to be sent as the email so I'm going to type active document There we go. So now to see this working, what we're going to do is we don't have to save this. We'll just close this. And we're still in design mode here. We can tell by this button up here. And I don't need these properties open either, so I can go ahead and close that. Now I want to see my form work. So I'm going to get out of design mode. Now you can see I'm no longer in design mode. I can fill out all my form stuff, right? All right, so now I'm going to hit submit. And what you'll see is the email client pops up. And what you're going to see attached to that email client is the document. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And make sure you subscribe and share this video. See you guys next time.